This is the ultimate iteration of the C7 Corvette. Now, the ZR1 batch has always signaled a really intense performance machine, but the 2019 Corvette ZR1 is the most incredible version yet. Let's take a closer look at what's involved in making this such an extreme car. It starts with this engine, the LT5. Now it shares its block with the 6.2 liter supercharged V8 in the Z06, but as you can see, it's so much bigger. It sticks out the top of the hood because there's a bigger supercharger on there and bigger intercoolers. The result is 755 horsepower. That's 105 more than in the Corvette Z06 and way more than the 638 you got in the old Corvette ZR1. In fact, that means this car will get to 60 in under three seconds flat, Chevy says. Of course, Chevy wasn't only going to add horsepower to this car, there's a lot of extra aerodynamic downforce. There are two wing packages, and this is the high wing version for track use. This adjustable rear wing gives you 60% more downforce than on the Z06's Z07 track performance package. It's adjustable by up to five degrees too, and it works in tandem with an upside down wing under the front and a new splitter. Now, with this high wing, you won't hit the car's 212 mile an hour top speed. You'll only get to about 202, Chevy says, but that's still probably plenty for most buyers. And that rear wing doesn't work on its own, of course. As you can see, there's an aggressive splitter up front, venting in the hood to relieve under hood pressure. And beneath, we can't even see, but there's a sort of upside down wing aspect that further sucks this car to the road at speed. So this is the standard low wing downforce package that comes as standard on the ZR1. And as you can see, this wing is actually mounted to a convertible. This is the first time in several decades that Chevy has offered a ZR1 Corvette convertible. Chevy says that because even the coupe has a removable roof, there was no extra chassis bracing needed to make the ZR1 convertible. In fact, it's only about 60 pounds heavier than the coupe, and most of that weight is due to just adding the folding soft top. To slow down the car when it's on track, or if you're attempting that 212 mile an hour top speed, you get standard carbon ceramic brakes. Now they're the same ones as on the Z06, Z07 package, but with some upgrades. The rotors have been specially heat treated by Brembo. There's a higher temperature, higher friction brake pad. And up front in the fascia, there's about 10% more cooling air directed to the front brakes to keep them nice and cool while you're working the car hard. So those are the basics of what makes the ZR1 the most incredible Chevy Corvette yet. But we really want to see how it performs forms out on the track. Taj Yukta, the car's chief engineer, told me that he thinks it's going to be faster on every single track than a Corvette Z06 or Grand Sport, but also a little bit easier to drive. And I'm hoping that at some point we're going to hear a Nürburgring lap time for this car too. For more on the 2019 Chevy Corvette ZR1, be sure to visit us at motor1.com.